Hello again everybody and welcome to another video. This one is on the Oxford Rail six wheeled Great Western towed brake van. And the one that I'm reviewing is in the Bridgeport livery. So it's kind of a grey colour. As you can see, it comes in a standard Oxford Rail packaging, um, which is an iceberg packaging with obviously the outer sleeve in the popular unpopular opinion maybe. Nicest looking outer sleeve there is out with the blood and custard and the bits of grey lining, I think it looks really smart. But you've not come to hear a review about that box, you've come to hear a review about the brake van. Um, now the brake vans were initially designed in the early 20th century um, for use on the Great Western's uh, South Wales colliery lines, so um, lines that were designed, lines that were carrying a lot of coal trains and they were designed to go on the back of coal trains, hence three axles, you can get more braking power out of that. So on to the actual model itself. As you can see we've got the underside here with various bits of brake hangers and things. You may notice that one is missing. Um, unfortunately that came off when I was unscrewing the body to try and get inside. Unfortunately I didn't manage to do that. But as you can see you've got the deck in detail there. And that was all I was trying to show you. And there is a little representation of a chimney inside. Uh, that correlates to the chimney on the outside there. Um, but the exterior of the model, it's a very nice looking model. Um, obviously it's in a standard Great Western livery. Um, it's shorter than other towed brake vans, uh, so both Hornby and Mainline offerings, Mainline later being transferred into Backman. Um, so yeah, um, detail wise, the bits along the side are, the handrails along the side are separately fitted. All the windows are glazed. Now I was reading on RM Web that some models have incorrect uh, doors on the back, um, as in the middle window on the door shouldn't be there, the window shouldn't be on the door, sorry. Um, and there's people who have plated them over, which makes for an interesting little project. Um, the buffers are not sprung, I'm afraid, um, but that's not a necessity on anything really, and especially on rolling stock. Um, you can see we've got a really well modelled brake handle there on the inside, along with interior detail as we've already seen. You can see the brake, hand, brake handle just sticking out there. Um, we've always got the three wheels, they're all metal, um, with the various bits underneath that I've shown before. Uh, to get around the initial brake, uh, the brake hangers, sorry, or the brakes, I believe they're the brakes. Um, if not, I'm sure someone will correct me, and please do. Um, to get around that, the NEM pockets um, go across and then down to meet standard height for NEM pockets. Um, we've got well printed uh, lettering and numbering. Um, we've got Bridgeport, 24 tonnes, uh, Great Western and the number, as well as some printed detail along the uh, sole bar, I believe, of the chassis. So it's a very nice and tidy little model. Um, it makes for an interesting part of any layer, I would argue. Um, especially considering it's a tow with six wheels on it. Um, now, I won't be using it for South Wales colliery traffic, but in some way it will be used for colliery traffic. Um, it'll be used on the back of internal use um, trains on Heapton Colliery. Um, which will be the backbone of the Hipton Colliery wagon fleet, I believe. I just need to do a little bit more work on the context of Hipton Colliery. But I'll do another video on that. But effectively what this brake van will be used for is just general use around the colliery. Um, so any train that's long enough to require a brake van, this will be used along my Backman, Toad, and my mainline LNER, uh, BR standard, sorry, type brake van. A standard brake van and they'll be used at different times or whatever. Um, in order to join the colliery fleet I will be removing some of the decals from the side um, probably the Bridgeport nameplate and definitely the Great Western because I'll try and make it look like it's been bought off uh, the Great Western at a slightly later date than what the model is currently representing. Um, I'll repaint a couple of planks here and there um, maybe hang a couple of lamps from the various lamp brackets that are separately fitted on the side and on the front which are very well done. Um, weather up the roof, probably weather up the underframe at some point as well. Uh, give it a general dusting of coal dust and things like that and generally make it look like it's a working brake van. 
um, that's been adopted by a colliery. Um, but that video will come out. Uh, it'll probably come out at the same time. It'll probably come out in another video um, with the shunters truck that I've previously mentioned in my other wagon. Uh, wagon. Sorry. Um, rolling stock review um, that went up a fortnight ago. So to conclude about the model itself, um, the quality of it is decent, it was just me being a little bit ham-handed that took off one of the brake hangers, um, and for £12.50 or around that range, it's a very very good price. It's such a unique little brake van that's very very well detailed, um, with the flush glazing, the NEM pockets, um, the detailed planks on a, the interior and also the representation of a stove on the actual interior itself. Um, yeah, so if you're in the market for this sort of thing, I'd suggest buying one. So I uh, hope to get, see you guys again very soon. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the next video will be. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you when it comes out. Anyway everyone, 